Okay, review time this week. We have, I guess, a space sim slope roguelike game called The Space. Sort of like Elite, if you remember that. I must admit, I have struggled with this game. But I also enjoyed the game, so a bit of a mixed bag. Let's see. The graphics, were, I thought, were very good. With great music and sound effects, news dreaming and sort of cutscenes, all of so that sort of things. But let's talk cutscenes. Oh As boy, were they annoying! Page, a substantial amount was Rather silly. But I do find all cutscenes like this, completely. unless they're there done cleverly, I find it to get out of the game too much. To you want to get involved in the game, not just endlessly watch a cutscene. Anyway, no spoilers, I will try my best. The basic premise of the game was a bit weird, I must say. So I must digress again. Please, game designers, enjoy, employ a writer that can actually write interesting and varied premises for games. Please don't go back to old hacky cliches. Which I feel you used way too much here. Heck, even a ten-year-old, hey, even my granddaughter, could probably come up with some better ideas, or at least would be original. Okay, ramp mode off. Yes, us old gits are allowed to vent. Get off my lawn, Sonny. Now, for game. Mm. Okay, I jacked my mouse up to full. Max DPI and acceleration. I have a good N rollover mechanical keyboard. And I've, everything was just running away from me. I was having a horrendous difficulty, if not a nightmare, trying to lock on to the ships and then keep them in my sort of gun sights. They were halfway across the screen, shoot me in the bum. Pew pew pew, and I'm dead. At some distance. And that was even the easy drones and the so called first enemy ships. So I found this very frustrating, I must admit. Ah, resources. And a weapon. And they but must admit the pew pew, oopsie, I'm dead, Decide got really old at the beginning. Well during most of the game I must admit. Yes I don't have the reactions of you know a nine-year-old these days but come on this goes back to another old rant of mine. This whole make it harder rather than enjoyable for the masses of abilities and sorry I think this is a very short-sighted idea I don't know where it's come from but I think designers really need to get it into the head that when you put it into an easy mode, a game should be at least playable by anyone. They shouldn't have to take, you know, three, four attempts to just do a simple mission at the beginning of the game anyway. Maybe towards the end? Yes, I can forgive it. Not there at the beginning, come on. So, yes it was a fun game, but I think with a terrible control system, combined with really like bad the game design, and a... it's enough ranting, let's, let's get, uh, get some main ideas of the game. Okay, yes it was a fun game, but I feel let down with a terrible control system combined with an awful game design and even worse storyline. So yes it was fun but would I recommend it? Um, probably not. I think there are better choices with more variable and interesting gameplay because I think this will probably get very old very quickly. So, I would recommend you keep your money in your wallet and find a different game, quite frankly. But if you like the roguelike system that punishes you, makes you go back every time you die to start again, 
further back in the game. Sorry, I think this is a very lazy game design and implementation. If you like roguelike space sims with twitchy gameplay, I think this is a game right up your street. Well, what do you think? Let me know below if I'm right or wrong. Here's a little gameplay and probably me sucking it up a lot. Please enjoy. This is Master Lich out. What's my objective? Reaching your destination. And where is that? It's still a long way to go. You will understand more when we get there. I would prefer some more substance to your answer. There's broadcast channel here. The Okar are a reptilian race with a tendency towards reactive behavior. They are indigenous to the cluster and the colonials uninvited guests. Distrust runs deep. This will enhance your weapon damage considerably. I like the sound of that. is damaged. It is recommended you fix it before your next encounter. If you say so.
This time. This time I'll make it. Independent operators with varying affiliations, profiting from trafficking, extortion, illegal weapons trading, piracy, clone smuggling. Maybe they have something I need. You have extracted raw materials. These are essential for crafting and upgrading, but you will require much more. What's this mining outfit I'm registering? Brady and Brunt Prospects, corporate behemoth and sole legitimate operator in the demilitarized zone. Their monopoly has ensured unchecked expansion. You will encounter their jump gates and mining drones frequently.